Hey, ever wondered about the fate of those once ubiquitous stars? The ones who captivated you on TV or adorned your bedroom walls? Get ready for a surprise. We're revisiting the past with a twist. These 20 celebrities have transformed so much. Rick Moranis, the Canadian actor, comedian and musician, was born on April 18, 1953, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He gained fame for his roles in a variety of comedy films during the 1980s and 1990s. However, in the late 1990s, Rick Moranis took a hiatus from acting to focus on raising his children after the death of his wife. During this time, he largely withdrew from the entertainment industry. Rick Moranis, now 70, he lives quietly in New York, doing voiceover work and enjoying family life. He surprised fans by returning for the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids reboot, called Shrunk, but it's not a full-time comeback. Good. I really gotta get a phone. So why am I here? I'm just... Come on, no. stop. Seriously. NASA. That's it? That's it. Demi Moore. The American actress was born on November 11, 1962, in Roswell, New Mexico, United States. She is renowned actress, starred in acclaimed films like Ghost 1990, A Few Good Men 1992, Indecent Proposal 1993, and G.I. Jane 1990. She gained widespread recognition and became one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood during that period. Demi Moore, rocking life at 63. Acting's not her main gig anymore, but she pops up now and then, like playing Bruce Willis's ex in American Pie. Focus now, family, activism, and her cool swimsuit line. Um, happy anniversary. Uh, one day. Yeah, thanks. Oh, it's brilliant. Right. And you were coming from Saturday Night Live. He had hosted that right before. Yeah, so we, he, we pulled an off. I didn't know about the leopard until I was there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Val Kilmer. The American actor was born on December 31, 1959, in Los Angeles, California, USA. Val Kilmer is a highly regarded actor known for his diverse roles in film. He gained widespread recognition for his performances in movies such as Top Gun 1986, where he played the role of Iceman alongside Tom Cruise. Val Kilmer's diverse career spans blockbuster hits like Batman Forever 1995, Heat 1995, and the indie film The Saint 1997. Val Kilmer is 63-year-old. No longer Iceman's pilot skills, but his talent shines. He beat throat cancer, uses a voice box now. He's quiet, lives in California, enjoys painting and writing, and inspires with his resilience. Uh, you know, he, he wasn't that superstar yet, but, you know, Tony Scott seemed to not like him. <laughs> Tony Scott, did that shock you, that he would take his own life? director no. be because he's so vivid uh, stylist with a camera. Mickey Rourke, the American actor, was born on September 16, 1952 in Schenectady, New York, USA. He initially gained fame in the 1980s for his roles in films such as Diner 1982, Rumble Fish 1983. In the following years, Mickey Rourke's career experienced ups and downs, and he took a hiatus from acting to pursue a career in professional boxing. He returned to acting in the 1990s with notable performances in films like The Wrestler 2000. Mickey Rourke, the tough guy actor with a soft spot for dogs, is 67 now. He lives in Sunny La, enjoying a quieter life after the Hollywood roller coaster. He still acts, like in the recent film The Palace, but doesn't chase roles like before. An actor who's working on the set is handed a gun. Did I have experience with guns or whatever? Usually they dry fire the gun. Come on, Alec Baldwin, it's not his fault at all. Brendan Fraser is a Canadian-American actor who was born on December 3, 1968, in Indianapolis, Indiana, USA. He has had a diverse and successful career in film, gaining recognition for his roles in a variety of jobs. Fraser gained widespread fame in the late 1990s and early 2000s for his roles in films such as The Mummy 1999, George of the Jungle 1997, and The Mummy Returns 2001. Brendan Fraser, the mummy battling hero of yore, is back in the spotlight. After some quiet years, he's roaring back with acting chops that wowed audiences. He transformed for the role of a reclusive man in The Whale, even earning an Oscar nod. Studio A24 for making such a bold film. And whale-sized hearts bear so that we could see into yours. And it is my honor to be 
named alongside you in this category. Matthew McConaughey, the American actor, was born on November 4, 1969, in Uvalde, Texas, USC. He gained early recognition for his roles in films like Dazed and Confused 1993 and The Wedding Planner 2001. However, he experienced a career resurgence in the late 2000s, marked by roles in films such as The Lincoln Lawyer 2011, Magic Mike 2012, and Mud 2012. McConaughey still live in large at 54. He chills in Austin, Tex with his wife and kids, keeps things chill with acting gigs now and then Yellowstone spin-off, and hangs out with his football team, Austin FC. Wrong, or knew the difference between right and wrong, or just choosing wrong sometimes. And what I'm finding out, gone, they're murky right now. They're really murky, but not only murky for students. Tilda Swinton, the Scottish actress and producer, was born on November 5, 1960, in London, England. She has received numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Michael Clayton at 2007. Some of her notable films include Orlando 1992, The Chronicles of Narnia series, We Need to Talk About Kevin 2011, Snowpiercer at 2013, and Doctor Strange 2016, among others. Tilda Swinton, the ever-stylish acting chameleon, continues to captivate audiences at 63. She appearing in eclectic films such as Memoria and major blockbusters like The French Dispatch. Um, and, and going down, you know, walking or make, taking a trip, maybe deciding if you're going to love doing that, but it's not the event that cinema provides us with. And festival, turn up and you don't necessarily know which country this uh, film's from. John Goodman, the American actor, was born on June 20, 1952 in Afton, Missouri, USA. He has had a successful and versatile career in the entertainment industry. He gained widespread recognition for his role as Dan Connor in the long-running TV sitcom Roseanne, which aired from 1988 to 1997. Apart from Roseanne, he has been involved in numerous successful film projects. Some of his notable films include The Big Lebowski, Barton Fink, Monsters, Inc., and Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? John Goodman, still rocking at 71. He's been killing it in movies like Big Lebowski and Monsters, Inc. Plus, he keeps us chuckling on the Disney series Monsters at Work. He's healthy, happy, and still got that golden voice everyone loves. Um, I learned to eat a whole new culture. Yeah, yeah. Entire culture. My daughter used to play uh, what they call bells in a band at Newman. But he used to get bumps on the wall to shoot you straight up in bed at night. Renee Zellweger. The American actress was born on April 25, 1969, in Katy, Texas, USA. She has received numerous awards throughout her career, including three Academy Awards. Zellweger gained widespread recognition for her roles in films such as Jerry Maguire in 1996, Bridget Jones's Diary 2001, and Chicago Tie 2002. Her portrayal of Bridget Jones earned her widespread praise and established her as a leading actress in the film industry. Renee Zellweger still rocking it at 55. Not chasing awards shows like before, she popped up in Netflix The Thing About Pam as a sneaky schemer, a creepy good. She dating hunky TV host Ant Anstead. They sold her Hollywood mansion and now enjoy Californian chilling chilling. Yeah. Just try to, you know, Grounded when I go in. I just want to oh. get, get in touch with my family. The car, you know, the long limo so you don't ride. Take the ah, no, 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 no. Because I don't like getting out. It's all crazy. I commend it, but it is a good exercise for keeping you grounded. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You You're get like, on that car. Zach Efron, the American actor and singer, was born on October 18, 1987, in San Luis Obispo, California, USA. Zac Efron gained widespread fame for his role as Troy Bolton in the high school musical film series, which started in 2006. The success of these movies propelled him to stardom. Over the years, Zac Efron has diversified his career by taking on a variety of roles in films, such as Hairspray 2007, 17 Again 2009, The Greatest Showman 2017. Zac Efron still rocking it at 36, Acting's not forgotten, though, he just picks roles that ignite his passion, like playing Ted Bundy or wrestling a bear in Firestarter. Zach's living life on his own terms, happy and healthy. There, there was, like, one time I just jumped off the top rope uh, to land on show motion for me, and I just remember being mid-air and thinking, how... Sincere thanks to all the loyal viewers who watched this video until the end. If you like this content and want to show your support, Please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends.
Wow, your support really means a lot to us. Stay tuned for more exciting then, and now stories coming soon. Until next time, 